All right, g'day guys and welcome back to another episode. This mission was from a couple of days back. Me and a mate went out to a local spot. We paddled out to the top and tried to target some kingfish. Managed to bump into a few fish. It was a really fishy dive, but uh, the viz wasn't that great. So we managed to get a feed. Wow, look at this. I managed to kingfish and um, we didn't see too much after that. The sharks started showing up, so we pulled pin and headed back in. And I made the best sashimi I've ever had in my life. It was absolutely delicious. So stick around to the end if you want to find out how I made that. Anyway, I won't hold you guys up any longer. I'll take you back, rewind a few days, and we'll get straight into the mission. All right, so some of you might have noticed I've got all this flash new dive gear. It's not because I'm rich. It's because I've just teamed up with Ocean Hunter and they've kitted me out. I've got new wetsuit, new gun, new gloves. Check it out, guys. You know how bad I am with my gloves. New gloves. But um, it's not really about the gear for me, although I do appreciate it. It's, it's more the recognition for what I'm doing. Um, it's a lot of hard work putting these videos together. Don't get me wrong, I love doing it, but it doesn't pay the bills. And um, stuff like this really just helps keep it going. And, um, oh, it's bloody epic. It is unreal. I know it sounds cliche saying it, but it really is because of you guys. Liking, subscribing, watching. And I'll keep making these videos as long as you guys keep watching them. So thanks to you guys. I really appreciate it. Let's get in the water. She is, bro. Kawai and trees and shit. All right, so as soon as we hopped in the water, we were greeted by schools of Kahawai, schools of small Trevally, and Tarakihi, obviously the old spotties, but no one cares about those, and the old blue cod and stuff. It was just a really fishy sort of environment to jump straight into. I'm gonna get that burly and put it off the point. So I placed the burly on the end of this drop off and because of the poor visibility and low light you can't really see it but it was at the bottom of this sort of overhang here and just did a few drops and nothing really of size came in. There was the odd tarakihi swimming around which were well over legal but I wasn't really too interested in taking any of those so I let them be and schools of Chevalli kept coming through but I was really waiting for a bigger fish like a kingfish to come cruising in. After a bit of persistence and no luck I decided to dive directly down onto the burley, have a bit of a closer inspection in case there was a John Dory sneaking around the periphery and just sort of pump the burley, give it a good shake and get it really dispersed into the water column before we swam off to another area to leave this to soak. As I was shaking the burley, coming up to the surface, this kingfish came in for a look so I quickly turned around and took a shot. As soon as I surfaced shooting this kingfish, I yelled out to my buddy that I had a kingfish on. The main reason for doing this is so he can come in and watch my back for sharks, but also put a second shot into it. The quicker you can dispatch it, the less chance you have of a shark coming in and interacting with you. Not only do you risk losing a fish to a shark, you're also in a way training them to utilize these opportunities for feeding and you can see it in the more popular areas for spearfishing. The bronze whalers have really learned how to steal fish from spearfishermen. 
Another really critical sort of component to landing kingfish in sharky waters is line management. Especially if you're using a real gun because the line's a bit thinner, it's not as easy to detect it rubbing up against your body. Um, you really just want to make sure you're not going to get tangled. If a shark comes in and takes that fish and you've got to wrap around you or your gun, bad stuff can happen. So just be really conscious of that when you've got all this loose line in the water. It's so nice. Sort them out. You want to grab your gun back, and then I'll come back out. All right. Once I've got that kingfish packed away, I found a nice patch of to start busting open. Breaking open ground burlies like this is a great way to release like a scented burly, but it's also a bit of an acoustic burly. The sound travels really far through water and it's a good indicator for reef species that there's a bit of a feeding frenzy going on and they'll come in and check it out. So I busted open a whole bunch on the ground and then found a whole bunch to lob as grenades to act as a bit of a, a water column sort of burly. Um, just to try and cover all bases and increase my chances of attracting some snapper in for a shot. <clears throat> On the first drop on this point, it was pretty evident that there was some snapper hanging around. There's a couple of schooling fish, a uh, sort of mid-water column, that kept coming in to check me out. They weren't very big, but snapper tend to school this time of year, and if you can find fish, there's going to be more. So it was looking pretty promising, and they kept making a few drops in the hopes of finding a bigger fish. On this last drop I could see a couple of half decent fish on the edge of the vis and I was about to push off and try and take a shot when this bronze whaler cruised through and interrupted my fun. It was quite a reasonable sized shark so we decided it wasn't even worth trying to get a fish past it and we pulled pin. Big bronzy just came in for a look. <laughs> Alright, that's me, all packed up, get this kingfish home, get it on ice ASAP.
have cut up that kingfish and we're going to get some of this fish curing so we can have it for sashimi probably tomorrow or the next day. Um, so all I'm going to do is get a nice big slab of belly. I prefer the belly just because it has a higher fat content. I'm just going to prep a quick marinade with beetroot, gin, salt and sugar. Um, I'm actually just using a non-alcoholic gin for this just because I know the kids are going to eat shit loads of it and um, you're not cooking the alcohol out so it's, it's staying in so if you're using alcohol it's going to have a small alcohol content. I'm just taking it easy. I found this non-alcoholic gin at the supermarket. First off we're just going to grate a whole bunch of fresh beetroot. I did look at some of that footage that I got from earlier today and um, it's not the best actually. I think I had the Go new GoPro on the wrong settings. Um, I'm using the new GoPro Hero 12 and the settings have changed a lot since the last iteration of GoPros. Um, so if anyone knows what settings are best for underwater video, um, let me know because uh, it's probably easier if you just to let me know rather than me going through trial and error trying to get it right. Um, so yeah, the footage is a bit grainy and not the best for slow-mo. So I've, I've upped it to 60 frames per second now instead of 30, which was better for low light, which I thought would be better underwater. Um, anyway, yeah, I'm just gonna change it up a bit because whatever I did didn't really work and you've probably already seen the footage already. So you'll know what I'm talking about. Ooh. Yeah, 80-ish, 90 mil of the fake gin. Never had it before, tastes like crap, but it's for the botanicals. And then uh, what else, salt and pepper. And what's this? Half a tablespoon, half a tablespoon of sugar. What do you reckon? Is that enough? It's quite a bit, eh? Yeah, should be right. And then that's pretty much it. Just gonna mix this up and then vacuum seal this kingfish to get that even penetration of the marinade and whack it in the fridge for like 24, 48 hours. All right, here we go. And Nelson, this stuff grows everywhere. So we're just gonna grab a bit. Grab the stuff that's high up so the dogs haven't weed on it. Fennel. You don't even need to lift any up. Bit of chives. Yep, they'll do. Mmm, chives. So that's it out of the packet. Epic colour. So I'm just going to scrape off all the beetroot and put that aside and chuck the slab of meat back in the fridge just to dry off a bit and chill back down for later on. We have this as an appetizer before dinner. Harlequin, C3, look at the colours on it. Then we grab our chores. Okay. A bit of fennel. And a few apple shavings. Shavings. Hello. Like that. And I put. No, no. Hard to scoop up with a fork. Wow. That's actually really good. That's pretty good. It tastes really familiar. I think the fennel sort of gives it like a real Asian sort of aniseedy starriness flavour. That's real good. And um, I mean, the appearance of it is just epic as well. But that's up there with some of the best sashimi I've ever had, I reckon. And real tender. Got a different texture to just fresh sashimi. Um, yeah, that's up there. Probably... 9.9 .9 out of 10. This, this stuff is really good. I might take the last bit. <laughs> oh, the last bit. <laughs> I'll make some more, eh? Yeah, make some more. Yeah, make some more. All right. That's pretty much it for this one, guys. I hope you liked it. Give that sashimi a crack. It's well worth the effort. It's not even that hard to do. You just got to be patient. 
and um, just another way to use that kingfish because we all know when you shoot a kingfish you got a lot of meat to get through so change it up keep it interesting and um, keep that love there for the food don't forget about the food I have while I've got you guys here just set up a, a buy me a coffee uh, page which is just a website I'll put the link in the description below go in there with a few clicks of a button you can donate a couple of bucks or however much you want to donate and um, it all just goes into a fund gets put into my account I will use those funds to further develop my camera technology and also fund bigger trips because we live in a beautiful place in New Zealand and I really want to get out there and explore it so it all going to help make that happen so yeah thanks for the support guys if you feel like you want to throw a dollar or two my way head over to buy me a coffee it is extremely helpful and it allows me to do more of this kind of stuff so yeah thanks again for the support guys and we'll see you again very soon